Hey guys, I wanted to do a uh, video here on um, my nutrient change out for the aeroponic rail system. Uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to go through step by step what I do to uh, totally drain down the system, refill the system, and uh, add my nutrients and my biologicals and stuff like that. So uh, quickly, right off the bat, we have some old nutrient that's uh, filtering around. The first thing we want to do on this is come right over here and we want to turn off this valve. And this is the valve that uh, is for, let's see if I can do it one handed. I may not be able to do this one handed, there it goes. This is the valve that is for the top off. And the reason we want to shut that valve off is because if we start to drain down the system, then the autofill will obviously start autofilling and we don't want to fill it yet. So the first thing we want to do is shut off the top off valve. The next thing we're going to go down here individually and we're going to shut off all the rails which I do this at night, it's in the evening right now when the system is not running and the reason I do this at night is because uh, the light ain't on, the light's not on the um, you know, thousand watt lamp, so the plants aren't under the heat of the day, stressors like that. And typically my system, I don't run it in the evening when the light's not running anyway, so this is a perfect time to do it. So now that we have all the rails shut down, we have the auto top off shut down, uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to open up, this is our drain our drain valve right here. We're going to open this drain up and then is if you recall that drain runs over to the uh, move this ladder out of the way that drain runs over to a mop sink I have then we're going to move around the system here and I'm going to turn this pump, uh, activate the pump turn the pump on I don't know if you guys can already hear but the system is uh, pumping down already. Let's go over here, take a quick look in the mop sink, and there you go. You can see the system's pumping down already. Now, what we're going to do while this is pumping down, one thing I like to do is I like to give me uh, my bucket here. Where is an empty bucket? Get one of my buckets. I should have been a little. Oh, there's one over there. Should have been a little more prepared for this. But let me set this down here, the camera here. I'm going to go in here and get my uh, bucket that's under here. And I'm going to start to fill this bucket up off of my RO system here. Not RO, I'm sorry. My filtered system. I'm going to start to fill this bucket up with some uh, filtered water, chlorine free filtered water. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to use this to uh, clean my filters. The reason I want to use this type of water to clean my filters is there's beneficial bacteria that are growing in that filter because I use organics and I do not want to kill those bacteria. I just want to clean the debris from the filter, kind of like a fish aquarium for any of you that may have aquariums. You want to clean the filter without killing the beneficial bacteria. So while that's filling, I'll give you a little shot of the reservoirs. You can see how they're already significantly pumping down. It doesn't take too long. So I'm going to fill this up, which this will take a little longer to fill. I could have did this early on. Um, you know got this water ready but it doesn't need a whole lot of water and I have time while we're sitting here that I can talk and fill this up but uh, yeah so basically we're gonna just let these go you can see both reses are draining equally because they're connected uh, they're going down quite quick and then once I get a little closer to the bottom of the reservoir there I'll be disconnecting the filter there taking that filters off to clean them and uh, draining the system down even further. And then we're going to just basically uh, show you what we do from there on in. So right now I'm just going to continue filling the RO water 
and I'm going to uh, continue to drain this down and I'll get back to you as soon as we get a little closer to uh, finishing draining. Alright guys, uh, after about 10-15 minutes or so, it pumped it down to that point there, which is maybe an inch and a quarter of water left in both res. Uh, you can see the air stones running. Those are the two big air stones that I have at the bottom of each. You can see the uh, temperature probe right over there, down in there. Um, I pulled the filters out. You can see just as I put them in the water there, the uh, dechlorinated uh, water, you can see all the junk that's in them filters. So those are going to get cleaned up real good in dechlorinated water. Now, a lot of guys will say, okay, this is where it is down to here and start to refill. I'm not like a lot of guys. So, <laughs> uh, I got the, uh, if any of you have aquariums or anything like that, this will look familiar. Uh, what this is is a siphon vacuum. Uh, what's nice about these tanks, they have these little niches down in there. I place this in there, and as you can see, and there it goes, off and running. You can see the fluid running through the pipe there. Whoop. And this is going to get me down pretty low in here. I'm going to use those little channels that you see right there to drain this almost completely down to nothing, both sides. So I'm going to do that real quick and uh, finish draining this up, getting this thing uh, drained down. Um, actually, what's sad is this part here takes longer than it does to pump down the whole rest of it into the mop sink. But uh, this way I am completely uh, drained down except, you know, a little remnant of water. And I'm also going to get those cleaned up, and I'll be back in a uh, short time to continue the steps on showing you what we're going to do here, um, you know, to get this res changed out. Now, like I said, it's been about 10, 15 minutes so far, which most of that time has just basically been pumping these down. Um, also, I am going to get in here with some paper towels, start wiping down these airlines, anything you see that right there all this gunk and slime and get it all cleaned up real nice. Now, on a system where you're using regular uh, nutrients, you know, non-organic, you could easily just get some 35% H2O2 hydrogen peroxide, which I have. I like to uh, clean my systems with that when the systems are done because I'm using organics now, so when I'm totally done, ready to break it down, I'll use it to clean the system. Actually, you can see that one while we're talking is almost finished up. Um, but in a system with organics, you cannot use hydrogen peroxide. You will kill the beneficial bacteria that is in the system, and then you are defeating your purpose there. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use um, another product I'll show you in a little bit that we just add. So basically, we're just going to wipe away any of the slime or any gunk or anything like that we can find. Just clean it out, wipe it up, and then I'm going to show you an enzyme product that we just add to the solution, which the roots love, and it keeps the system clean and uh, keeps it clean and free of pythium and root rot and all kinds of bad, nasty stuff, fungi and algae and everything like that. So uh, let me get back to finish cleaning this up, guys, and... Uh, I'll be back here in a moment to continue on and show you what else is involved in this. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Well, here we go. I'm all cleaned up. I got my filters cleaned up. As you can see, they look great. It took me about four or five buckets full of dechlorinated water to get them really clean. They were gunked up pretty good. But by doing that, in theory, the living bacteria should still be alive and well in that filter. Uh, what I did now... First thing I did was come over here, turn off the uh, drain valve, obviously. <laughs> you want to shut that uh, valve off. Then you want to come in here and go ahead and turn back on the auto top off. And now, as you can see, we're starting to uh, fill. We already got some uh, uh, fluid uh, or uh, dechlorinated water back in there. Now, keep in mind, this is not an RO system. Um, I may do that eventually, uh, but it is a hydrofarm system that filters out chlorine, uh, chloramines, and uh, sediment, and uh, some of the heavy minerals like that, but it is not an RO system. Um, 
but it does work well for what I'm doing here. Uh, so all I do now basically is wait. You know, this is probably the longest process to let this fill up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump back off of, of here, let this fill up, and I'll get back on uh, when it's time to start mixing up some nutrients and enzymes and stuff and uh, show you where I go from here. As you can see, everything's wiped up, cleaned up nice. All the hoses are wiped down, cleaned up real good of all uh, slime, algae, whatever it may be in there. And now we're just uh, filling back up. So as soon as this fills, uh, I'll be back with some more information uh, to finish up this video. Thanks, guys. Uh, appreciate you watching. Also, uh, keep in mind, if you have any comments, suggestions, I'm always learning just like you guys are always learning. Uh, you know, if some of you guys see something I might have missed, could have did better, please let me know. Um, I already have some ideas for this system to update it when I break it down from this first crop. So yeah, I'm not going to let get into that now, but I uh, will once I break it down. But if you have any suggestions or uh, changes or things I could do better, please let me know. And uh, be back here in a little bit, guys. Thanks. Real quick, guys, uh, just a real quick uh, add in here. As you can see, the auto top off is uh, filling up, and it's just starting to uh, reach the level here at this filter that it's starting to dump into this side tank now. Um, this is a great time because I'm going to show you here in a minute. This is a great time to go get yourself your favorite beverage, whatever it may be, and relax. Uh, you know, go watch a show or whatnot because this takes a little bit of time. And once this does come up to level, you don't have to worry about it overflowing because obviously it'll shut itself off. But what I wanted to show you is down here on the Flowmaster, which for any of you guys wondering, I highly recommend this device here for you. Right now we're running at 0.78, so just about three quarters of a gallon a minute. Okay, so almost three quarters of a gallon a minute. Well, actually, it's a little more than three quarters of a gallon a minute, almost, you know, 80, eight tenths of a gallon, you know, a uh, minute. But uh, basically, I'll show you also how I verify again how much is in this because this also device does tell me how much I'm flowing through total and it also does tell me when my filter needs changed. So for $54, well worth the investment. It does six filters, by the way. So I can run six systems and keep track of all six of them uh, separately. I don't know if you can see it right up here, but I'm on filter one. There's six of them. So this is a great uh, system. So we're running three quarters of a gallon a minute and we have 42 gallons uh, so you guys can do the math on that one <laughs> see you in a little while